And this is what we've been trying to find the whole time in America, is these traps where there's no one out. We haven't seen anyone. If we get Bob there, all we have is home. Max, Max track. One track that was meant to be easy to camp tonight. Nah, this is gonna, this is epic. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's a proper end of the world truck. Big sport life in America. Showing up Australia, I think. Welcome back guys to another episode. Oh yeah, this is a good one. We are heading to Flagstaff tomorrow for the Overland Show. Huge storm just rolled through, absolutely pumped this area. There was and even hail on the ground, covering the ground, so. Have a look at the state of the big girl. All right, Wait till you find out how we managed to get here. And then Nav, how about I'm, in front I'm of us? I've now got about 100 metres of water to uh, walk through first. This is gonna be absolutely epic. The whole place is flooded. Well, after you, Russ, let me know if this one's any good. Ooh, is it cold? That feels like I'm walking in snow. <laughs> this will be a fun one. Let's go! So we're mowing in Seduna. This place is Amazing. epic. Amazing. We knew there'd have to be some water here because it's quite a big town. There's a random place to just plonk some houses right on these cliff edges and must be a bit of money here because they're all very nice houses. They are too. mansions. The trial we wanted to take uh, is actually shut. Yeah, so we spoke to a local tour yeah. guide. We've been stitched up here. We missed a heap of tracks just south. Uh, I mean, we could go all the way back, but we, we need to be in Flagstaff tomorrow morning. So we kind of need to keep going this way. Forward. It was 31 only five 10 minutes, minutes ago. ago. Yeah, less. Just when we were in town, it was still 31. It's now 24 degrees. It just dropped. That's a big That's difference. a huge drop. You can feel it's cold outside. Seven degrees in five minutes is wild temperature change. It was too hot with the window down. We had to have the air con on. Now I've got the cold. window down and now I'm cold. cold. That's crazy. Oh, I've got a look at that 16 camera. degrees, just on the temperature. Wow, it's really cold. Seen a couple of rigged up four bees turning off. turning off, and we're like, oh, well, if they're going, we're going. Yeah. So we're in the rain, we're in the mud, um, following a couple of rigs up the rigs pine forest. into a pine we're forest. On, we're on top of the mountain, so we're like, a, it's like a plateau up here. We have no idea where it goes, but we're going for a cap. Going. Going. That's the way to do it. Now it's nine degrees. What? How did it get to nine degrees? It's hectic, eh? We might have to end here. Not have done that. Oh, 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 wow. The show's tomorrow. That Can looks not help myself. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Should we go through? Should we go through? Yeah, let's do it. Looks like you got some cleaning to do tomorrow before the show, bro. Please rain. Please yes. rain. <laughs> and we, need, we need a heap of rain and we need it ASAP. The big BFG's just absolutely tearing that up. Well, it's not new anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's this go. This is absolutely. Gorgeous through here. We do need to find a camp. This we need one pretty, pretty ASAP. Hell, hell, it's so pretty. We've got the sun coming out and just like raindrops off the off the pine trees here. What a fresh air. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that got the heart going. We didn't really know how deep that was and it started to sink a little bit. I don't quite know the capabilities of this vehicle. In my Land Cruiser, I would have been through there with a bullet gate with the ram. That got the heart going. Yeah, It's getting a bit wild, oh. bros. It's getting worse and worse. We just got through all the soft, long, muddy sections, and now this is a real low-lying sort of plain. Yeah, we're on the plateau of this mountain, so I don't know, 5,000 feet. So this is all. Just, this is where the water settles, and it is flooded. Looks like there's a bit more of a dam on that left corner. So well, this goes around to the right and left, water both ways, I think, all the way. I think I might actually get you to walk this one a little yeah. bit because we started to sink on that last one. We do not have a winch extension. If we get bogged there, I'm all we have is max, max tracks. Like, we'll probably have to undo the trailer. Oh, God. I'm getting cold and this water all is right. icy. Have a look. Go for a little wander, mate. I'm still not 100% confident in the Ram's ability yet, so. Right up, mate. How deep's that? Oh, it looks shallow. That's good. It's not too bad. It's muddy on the bottom, but it's not. Oh, it's cold. So, don't look too bad so far about knee deep, but. There is a little dam in this corner here, so that's why I was just a little bit concerned. Yeah. You reckon we're all right? Yeah, you'll be fine. It's it's it's, whoa, it's soft on the bottom, but like it hits gravel, I think. The last one was foot to the floor, did not lift. Started to panic a little bit. My feet are burning. That is <laughs> just a little, just a little <laughs> shortcut through one track that was meant to be easy to camp the night. No, this is gonna. This is epic. This is this is our best track yet. The only upside to this is it might actually clean some mud off the yeah, car. Yeah, hopefully. Which we need. Hit it. All the way. <laughs> All right, let's rip in. It's nine degrees, and this water is icy cold. But it's fun. This is this is mudding, and this is what we've been trying to find the whole time in America. Is these tracks where there's no one. Out. We haven't seen anyone in over an hour. Hopefully, <sighs> Matty makes it through because he's still got 100 meters to go. Here we go. Righto, Matty. Just pedal with the metal. There's no rocks. It's just mud. in the water. Oh, that's cold. How was that, Matty? Oh, my God, that was nuts. That was definitely, we should have walked the whole way. Yeah, should have walked the whole way. That went deep. I'm glad I didn't walk the whole way. That got deep. Caps <laughs> running, I look out the window. <laughs> Bang, face to the dirt. I was like, yes. Drenched. All right, mate, well, what was meant to be a little track, we're still not out of here. Following a power line track at the moment, actually, and oh, yeah, it's not on any of the maps, but it looks like if we follow this power line track, we should run. We're going through the middle of nowhere. Straight back into another track. I get a good feeling about this track. I reckon this might actually get us out. It's a little, short, another shortcut a to get back onto the shortcut. Bit more well used, <laughs> but slow and steady. A little rocky creek bed. This that section. is the logic that gets people stuck out here, Matty. Well, we're uh, learning how to wheel this ram real fast. Getting a bit of confidence in the big girl too. <laughs> big Rambo loves having a go. Oh, Deer. check it out, dear, dear. Look at him. There. That's a good size herd too, isn't it? No bark, just dodos. Yeah. They don't like the car. 
Oh, that's cool. That's wicked. First deer sighting. First deer. The great size her too. Look at them go. That's lovely. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Makes Just a great kidding. venison jerky. No, we wouldn't. No. Righto, jumpers are on. It's getting chilly. We've probably got about half an hour before sunset. And uh, Maddie's just given the latches on the <laughs> Patriot a wash down. There's still a wild herd of deer over there too, which is pretty cool. Hopefully they hang around tonight. We need something to eat. We bought a lighter for having a fire and we lost it. So luckily we're told the Patriot, <laughs> we're gonna use this to get fire, to light the fire. Then we're gonna cook dinner straight away. It's getting cold. We're gonna cook something real different tonight. Um, we're gonna have tacos. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Hopefully this paper catches a light because the timber is very wet. We have limited cardboard. There is no mess, that's crazy. I was a little bit concerned, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm impressed, that cop, an absolute hiding. Good seal. Everything is absolutely drenched at the moment, so it's hard to find dry wood. Good thing about being in a pine forest is pine cones. Pine cones are very good for starting fires. And believe it or not, even green pines, uh, the needles are actually flammable. Once they get a bit of heat to them, they, um, all the sap gets released and the sap is flammable. So it helps your fire burn. It does get pretty smoky as you, put the, as you can see there. See how dark it is? That is actually full of uh, sap. And that sap is extremely flammable. So what you do is you find some of the dead pine trees closer towards the bottom are the ones that keep all the sap in them or have all the sap left in them. So if you can find ones like that, that'd be awesome to use. And that is anywhere in the world. If you find pine trees, this is some of the best wood to use for lighting a fire. Found this big log, all the outside's rotted away. The inside's still nice and hard because that's where all the sap sits. So this baby will burn even if it's wet. What you want to do with these fires, with wet fires, is once you've got a bit of heat going, you basically stack it up. What that does is it traps the heat in and causes it to start to dry out from the inside. And as the smoke goes through the wood, it dries the wood out. Eventually that fire is going to get roaring and you're going to have enough heat to continue to dry wood um, as you're burning it. If you, do, if you try and uh, put it on individually, what happens is that eventually the heat dies down um, because of the wet wood and then she goes out. So what you want is, yeah, trap that heat on the inside. You think you're smothering it, you're not. It'll actually dry out, or the smoke will dry it out, and then she'll catch on fire. The lake's not but far not that far away, away, but yeah, you're allowed 14 days camping in here in the state forest, I guess you call it, and out there, National yeah. Park or something. Yeah. Some, so. You gotta camp in the trees, because heaven forbid you camp on the edge of the lake, you know, imagine what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know. However, we have pulled up to an absolutely beautiful little campsite. Yep. We got some gnarly rain clouds in the background. They're going to come over directly over us. And Fingers crossed, they're not going to do that. They're, look, the clouds are moving directly <laughs> on us. I don't even see the grey clouds behind us. That is coming directly <laughs> over us. <laughs> Manny's already got himself grotty. Oh, I did the new bloody the new premium hoodies. <laughs> Should have worn my black jacket, explore jacket, but no. Doesn't matter too much if we get this dirty. So we're just sending some smoke signals out at the moment, telling the uh, clouds to bugger off. <laughs> Look at this fire. It is raging. The Patriot set. And if that rain comes in, mate, I'm going straight into there. <laughs> so, like a bloody rat up a drain pipe. <laughs> Gone. Kick Nav out as he's trying to come in, zip it up, lock it up. I might even put the heater on. I got a Wabasto heater in that thing. Dude. I forgot. Nav hates I mean, it's up. nine degrees now, so if it drops five degrees, it's... It's gonna be four degrees. Geez, your mass is red hot. Yeah, it was right, but I mean, yeah. well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
He's ready. I figured that because you're already getting everything out and starting to. <laughs> it's the easiest meal you can possibly cook camping. All right, look out. I'm going to rip in nabs. Let's go. Oh. Sit around the fire. A little bit of warmth before we go to bed and get smashed by this storm. Stop it. What a day. What a day. It's been a little bit slow to get going, the old explore life in America. We've still been fitting everything out. We've still been getting bits and pieces. We're into it now. We're into some proper wheel, and the next few episodes are going to be epic. We've got some crazy things coming up. Happy as a pig in right now. <laughs> you are a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't be able to hear it on the GoPro, but the wind is howling through these pine trees. Best sound to go to sleep to, I reckon. Epic sound. Oh. Clouds are coming with it. I feel like the rain's probably not far behind with this wind. Hopefully it doesn't come. Oh, so, actually, we need it for the car, don't we? Oh, mate, I hope it absolutely pours down. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. We're heading to the Overland Expo. I wish we could just roll in covered in mud and just be like... That would be such a cool... Thing this is how the Aussies do it. This is how we do it. This is how it's done. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. Rain. We're getting wet. Here All right. Go. See you in the morning. Good morning. She's a little bit brisk last night. How'd you go up there? Ah, so I'm sleeping bag. <laughs> the sleeping bags we bought were only 10, 10 degrees, degrees sleeping bags, which, it you know. It was 9 degrees when we went to bed. <laughs> yeah, we woke up 5 degrees here this morning. Everything's frosty. Yeah, we didn't really expect to be sleeping in such cold weather. What was it, 40 friggin... 41 degrees to 5 degrees, and we only drove... Like, like, if you want to knock off road, you're only two hours away. Yeah, two Does hours. Does this make you feel better, mate? I got oh. this going for you this morning. <laughs> I may have used the drone to start the fire. Proper. <laughs> Sydney, Sydney fell away. <laughs> I think we'll sit around this for the next couple of minutes, just, just warm the just toes and, and fingers. And then we'll attempt packing down without getting covered in mud. And we're out of here. Drawing. Straight into... Uh, Flagstaff? Flag yeah. No, we'll get through today. Hopefully we've got much from detours. We should be right. Fingers crossed. Let's go. We've been here over an hour at the moment. He's painted the walls. <laughs> Grotty. Really, really sorry whoever owns this cup off a <laughs> I will claim it. <laughs> we made it. Expo West. Look what the cat trip did. Hello. Hello, big horse. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, yes, cuddles. cuddles. Hey, hey, mate. mate. How's hey, it going? Guys. So good. Good, good man. Yeah. This is exciting. Welcome to Flagstaff Expo West. We're on. We're, we're frothing. Yeah, it's good. You got the van. We got a little trailer yeah, over here. Van. That's good, man. And then we got the cars on the stand, eh? Cars on the stand and a um, bit of a place here to hang around and maybe a fire at night. Man, right. there's some uh, yeah. some rigs here. Oh yeah, and the queue is just massive coming massive. to the show. It's gonna be good. Should be a hell couple of days. We're gonna get set up and then we'll take you for a walk around the show. I'm back in the swag. I'm gonna kick down the rooftop tent because that's gonna go on display. So trailer set up. We've gotta get everything out. The Explore Life in America at our very first Expo exhibiting with one of our own cars here. Oh, yeah. Pretty big achievement, yeah, just quietly. Good. Yeah, it is. It's good to finally be over here and showing off Australia, I think. I'm frothing. Yeah. Absolutely frothing. Honestly, so stoked that we're over here. We made it to the US. We're going to be at all four shows, guys, but this is the biggest. This is the main one. Big shout out to Dean from the Bush Company for having us over as well. So we're gonna have Dean's Colorado here, and that's us guys, so should be. And, uh, should and be while help. we're here, we're gonna be looking for a rig for me to build. Or like <laughs> for me to take off. Let us know in the comments, what should we build Nav? What yeah. type of car? What car do I need? I don't anything fancy. I just need something that can get me to and from some wicked spots. And now the other big question is, what should I build in Australia? Oh, who cares? No one really cares. I do, I don't have a car back home. <laughs> Borrow one someone else's. <laughs> Jeez, you, you get one after me. <laughs> All right, let's go back to camp. This morning with this thing staring at me, crikey, I jumped out of my skin. Started screaming bear. Morning, big fella. Let's go, guys. Day Bye. one. 
at just, the West Overland Show. So we got the rig set up. We got all the uh, GCI tray canopy out. We got all the Dinos Bush Company gear on display. It's going to be a cracker day, mate. There's not a cloud yeah. in the sky. We're into it. Day one. So we'll show you around, and we will go for a walk around today because there's some epic, epic rigs here. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're going to do a walk around. I'm going to do a couple of rig reviews with you, talk about some tyres and things and cars, um, and then we're going to choose a vehicle that I'm going to then have for my um, off-grid stuff. So we're going to go for a wander. <laughs> we might actually try and do some rig reviews, I think, because it's busy at the show. What we're going to do is just do 30-second walk arounds on some really epic rigs. Megan, just give us a quick rundown. And that's going to be the fastest way we, got. we can show you some cool stuff As here. many as possible, yeah, in but the shortest amount of time. There is some cool stuff. I think it's about to rain, so yeah, it's pretty short lived. Let's see what happens. I think we should get you a dog like that, Matty, a poodle. I think that'll just bring out the manly side in you. <laughs> the I actually am getting a little bit excited about the Jeeps, which the, is the, all bad. The tyres don't even fit in the damn. Let us know in the comments. The should we build a Jeep? A yes Jeep. or no? I reckon we could build a cool Jeep, definitely a Gladiator. I've, never, I've always just paid out Jeeps, but you come over here, this is like the thing to build, isn't it? It seems like everyone's gone Jeeps. We definitely need cars. Put a cool tires. little camper on the back. I need a new car back home, maybe. What I think Jeep? this is the idea at the show. We've got to figure out what car we're going to build when we get back, back, back home. Back home. Yeah. Jeep, it's on the Jeep. list. Is it, is it a touring car though? You yeah, want, you touring want... car, full touring car. How do they go? I don't know. If everyone tools with them over here, so they can't be too bad. <laughs> but they're American, so. Navi, this is the Earth Roamer. This is the. This, this is what one's you've been a chef. About. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about. That is a monster. Maybe two two nights. Weekends. Three nighters. Three nighters. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go too too far. You just park this up and live in it forever. Holy dooly, Batman! And this is Next a, build. This is an apartment on wheels. This is an apartment. You're good for like eight people to sit around that table. <laughs> Sixty good inch TV. TV. We'd, really? we'd get this bogged in about 10 seconds. <laughs> You'd break then, it in uh, about 10 seconds. We'd take the whole top off the first track went down. It's too tall. <laughs> Everyone's whinging at me, telling me the 35s are no good. Anything big is no good we, for the gearbox. We had, we had someone yell out the other day as we drove in, get bigger wheels. We need bigger Maybe wheels. Like, 37s it. are going on straight away. I'm off it. <laughs> I'm off <laughs> it. <laughs> Where's Matty going? He just took off. One drop of rain and he started running back to his... Look at him, he's miles away. Well, that was a very, very short-lived walk around. We're like, Jesus, it's cold. Yep. And here comes the it hail. It wasn't rain, it was hail. Well, oh, when it's raining and we stop sitting in the car watching movies. We make Maddie's favourite. We we'll make toasties. Quit talking, more cheese. More cheese, less yapping. Sorry, boss. Yeah. Day two, Overland Expo West. Blue skies today. Unfortunately, well. yesterday, that <laughs> rain come in and smashed us. And Honestly, the day was a write-off. So apologies we didn't get anything extra yesterday, but we're definitely going to go around today. Yep. While yeah, the sun's out, straight after this yeah. coffee, we're out of here. We're going to give you guys a hot lap, show you everything. Pretty keen for today. Yeah. I'm absolutely gutted There's we didn't so get many to see more It's all right, you guys won't miss out. You get to see it today. Happy days. All right, <laughs> coffee time. What do you reckon? We'll have another go. Take two? Take two. This is the... Doomsday truck, I'm calling that it. That is like, ridiculous. It's a proper end of the world truck. You're sitting up there with your machine guns, just shooting any <laughs> bastard or zombie that's coming at you. Hey, <laughs> that is ridiculous. It is out of control. What's well, as big as a semi trailer? That, that's a two story house on wheels. All this, and it's got you, you one can... little shocky. Obviously, right. full leaf spring right. set up. You could hide under here where it was raining. So we need Have a look at the front end on this thing. It's a prime movie. It's a proper truck, right? That's a full-blown truck. You don't see bull bars here very often. That's, That's pretty cool. Jeep. 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 I found it. I've found, got it. Found your vehicle. Yeah, this is me. This is it. This is all I need. A winch, spare tire, a little extra fuel can in the back. Yep. I reckon we could find you one of these. Oh, stop it. That would be... We, I reckon we find you an old Willys Jeep. Done. For back home. Or an old 40 series, actually. 40, an old school... They're just so bloody dear these days, but an old 40 yeah. would actually be perfect. Anyone know who, someone who's got one? Yeah, Let us know. anyone got a cheap running 40, 45, 40 series for navs? That'd be the go. Just, just put some uh, bigger tyres on it. We're laughing. Cheese cutters for the win, mate. 
So this thing's actually pretty sick. We don't get these back home. Brand new, just been released, Toyota Sequoia. It's kind of like the brand new Tacoma, but in a wagon. It's pretty bulky, pretty fat. It's got a cool stance about it. Yeah, it looks, it looks cool. Jeep. Where? There's no other Jeep. The red I hit you orange one. No, there's two here. Okay, sorry, third one. <laughs> All right, this has got to be one of my favorite that I've seen at the show so far. The old Chevy Apache 34. It's got a full polished alloy canopy on the back with a rooftop tent, cheese cutters, full proper serious suspension set up too. Man, this, they're not mucking around. This thing's actually legit. Space. This thing is a full ground up resto. The rooftop tent is built into the canopy so you climb straight up. They haven't got anything in the back but you haven't seen a cleaner paint job. Yeah, this should be in a, in a showroom. The interior is absolutely off its head. This thing is better now than when it come out factory. I'll give you a look at this suspension up front. There you go, full custom suspension. All new coil towers, coil overs in the front, all Fox. It's even got the electric power steps on it. Oh, these look familiar. Adventure Imports, these guys have got all the Max tracks. It's time to go load up, because we're missing one off the roof. I'm not going to tell you what happened there, but we'll just say we're missing one. We need one orange Max Trax Extreme, and we need to get some bloody recovery, recovery here. here. We've run into Paul from Max Trax. Mate, we're not going to tell you why, but we need one more Max Trax Extreme, just one. <laughs> Nav may have lost it, I don't know. Hey, nothing to do with this one, this is not more. And then we definitely need a recovery kick, because yeah. we got ourselves in some trouble. Yeah, a few days ago. Almost some um, bad trouble. And we, yeah. That'd be pretty standard. Yeah. yeah. So we forgot the Max Trax recovery kit in Australia. So yeah. we need the whole kit and caboodle. No, he's got Caleb on it now. He's putting one together. Yeah. So we'll be able to take it away with you and uh, we'll uh, get you that extra, um, as usual, man. Spare, 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 spare Max Trax. Spare, yeah. 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 We're, miss, we're missing number eight. We got seven. <laughs> we need one more. <laughs> We found a familiar face. Mate, what's going on? Heaps, dude. What isn't going on? Just, I don't know, just Australia Central here at Overland West. It's though. actually crazy. There is Aussies, Aussies everywhere. everywhere, man. Everywhere we walk down the aisle, like yeah. running into Aussies, and it's awesome to see, dude. It's so it's, good. It's good to see. So we got the X3 behind yep. the, the new bus for the first time. You're beating on the X3 behind <laughs> the new bus. <laughs> I've it. seen your stories. You may have seen the Instagram stories. Yeah. We got lost. What can I say? I, I got an email back from marketing saying, can, if you see Matt, can you make sure you tell him to clean the trailer before he drops it back? <laughs> but it looks sick, looked awesome, uh, dude. We gave it a clean. We spent about two hours on the gurney yesterday. Yep. We yep. said in the episode, I was uh, a little bit unsure about setup, pack down time. Absolutely blew me away. Yeah. And it's about to get even better. You can see it genuinely when someone likes a product or yep. it's kind of like, yeah, thanks for lending that to me. Like, yep. here it is, give it back. And when we get that kind of reaction from people like on your face yesterday with the X-ray, I was kind of like, all right, that's awesome. But. Well, I think by the time everybody sees this, they're yep. going to see something brand new from Patriot Campers. We have taken functionality around camping in a camper trailer, I think, to a whole new level. I think we've reinvented the wheel. America's not going to get that product for probably about another 12 months. Yep. By the time we go through compliance and engineering and all the rest of it, but Australia are going to get that the whole new model range, our generation two of, of Patriot Campers, 10 years in the making, man, for our 10th anniversary. And I, I even get goosebumps dude. thinking about it. Honestly, he's giving me a little rundown of yeah. what's to come. We're not going to let anything out of the bag, but yeah. by, the, by the time this drops, yeah. jump over, go check out, check yeah. out the new range, because uh, yeah. it's off its head. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Well done. This is Yamaha. Jeep. I'm going to start punching you out in a minute. Oh, well, here it is, my favourite Land Cruiser at the show. Now, I think this possibly could be on an 80 series chassis. That's how they get away with having 79s over here. Register it, chuck the 79 body on. This thing's bad. Badass. We run into Tim. Mate, what a weapon. Thanks. So, uh, how long you had it? About a couple of years now? Yeah. Yeah, not too long. The whole vehicle is made by a company called Altec. They're in Germany. So, they, they build uh, conversions on the Land Cruiser chassis or the Defender or the G Wagon. Okay. So, uh, you just specify like what you want. You know, a double cab or a single cab or a 200 series or whatever. And you throw a carbon fiber camper on it. Mind if we jump inside? Go for it. So, check it out. 
fully cut out. You got four seats, center console, all your sort of upgraded 79 stuff up front. And then as we come into the back, you got a nice big L-shaped lounge, sink, Dometic fridge, coffee machine, good to see. Another Dometic slide out drawer tucked in down here. Uh, good, good headroom. Uh, you can basically work around the sink and everything. Full height, bed drops down. That's sick. I reckon I could get around one of these. Troopies are too small in my opinion. There's not enough space in them. I like this thing. Let us know in the comments. What do you reckon? Rate this thing out of 10 because uh, this could be one of my favorite trucks or if not the favorite truck at the show. 79 series, yeah baby. All right, Navzi, I'm secretly frothing this thing. You've Single been, cab ram, got the dual cab over this, here. Mate. You've been looking for one like this, haven't you? What if we, Every time you see one, you kind of get... What if we Im it? import one of these, I reckon? New touring rig, so the Team Mule Expedition Outfitters built these ones. Are those tyres even legal? In this this is a petrol... Uh, not quite. Let us know in the comments. Single car brand with a big tray canopy setup, or some sort of camper on the back. Yeah, yeah. Be. I think that's, I'm getting excited um, yeah. about that. Where's, wait, where's the rooftop tank going? <laughs> there is no rooftop, mate. You're on the swag. You're on the ground. I don't know whether we go Polaris or Can Am or what, but we definitely need what's, what's... to do a full mission. Yes, definitely. In one of these. Have a look at how rigged up they are now. One like that, we can put so much gear in. So you can go fully enclosed doors, full windscreen, little tray on the back. Yeah, that would be Roof cool. Roof rack, light bars. Here's another one. Look at this little unit. Two door one. We can get some remote places with this right Yeah. Up. We can sit in the aircon while we're doing it. Oh, the aircon? Yeah. It's almost like a Suzuki chimney. As you sneak inside, it's like hopping into a car. You've got your screen in the middle here, all your air con, window shuts, it's got roof lining. Are we going a bit far in the off-road buggy? Where do you draw the line between a buggy and a car? I like, feel like you shouldn't be allowed doors. You're supposed to just cop all the water and get dirty and have a hell of time, but I don't know. We'd be sick, but <laughs> I think it's too far almost. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Coming through a little show and shine area, basically. It's like a DIY. We've grabbed a can of lemonade. We're going for a wander. This is one of the more unusual setups. We've got the Porsche KN, what looks to be like a box to rear end. You slide the timber drawer out the back of the Porsche for your Esky rooftop tent. It's an A plus for creativity, that's for sure. So there's one other thing at the show that has really intrigued me. It's like a, a mix between a Forby and a van. They are a ram. Have a look at these trucks. There's, there's a couple floating around through here. There's about three of them. They might not all be rams. It's literally like a 2500, but in a van. We don't get them back home, but I reckon you still got the 4B capabilities, decent 4B capabilities, and it's a van that's not too high. And then you can add a pop top to them. Pretty sick. All right, so Navzi told me he needs to take a phone call. This is about hour and a half ago, so we're just gonna wander over, see if he's really taking that phone call because I've got a sneaky suspicion he might be gone for a nap. Hey, are you in there? Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's my alarm going off. That's your alarm for a sleep? What do we think in the comments? How many of you would love to be at the Overland Expo? And how many are having a nap? I thought you told me you had a phone call. That was just to let me go away. <laughs> Good night, mate. Get out of here. Good night, buddy. Hey. Enjoy your sleep. Don't you dare. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it to you. That's what you get when you have a nap at uh, three o'clock. 
the middle of the show. Oh, mate, we'll see you over there in 10 minutes. Done Our first nothing. expo done. My, my first expo ever. So it was my go. second, but it was the first with the car. Dino, big thanks yeah. for having us on the stand, Welcome, mate. Buddy. We had a ball. Did you have a good show? That was great. Yeah, a lot of people came around. And how, how big are the rigs here? They're insane. We've seen some of the coolest trucks yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Out of control. Some things that just, I don't even know where you're going to take them. Dooms, yeah. That Doomsday <laughs> truck, <laughs> the International, <laughs> that thing was out of control. Thanks to everyone who came and said good day. I was a little bit blown away with how many Americans were stopping yeah, us actually, as we were cruising around yeah. and knew who we were. So that was, uh, that was pretty epic. From here, we are heading out to the Grand Canyon. We got Moab coming up. We got Zion. We got Lake Powell. It's about to get really fun. Yeah, time to hit the road. Time Off to hit the road. road. Yeah, done. Yeah. Till next time, guys. Get out and enjoy the Explore Life. We're out of here. Grand Canyon. Grand Grand. Here we come. Let's go. Yo. A little trick with uh, non-serrated edges. And how you sharpen them is, Maddie's not looking. You wind down your window, right? And this, this top of this edge here is actually extremely fine glass. You can almost shave your nail on it. But you put your edge, hear that sound? It's not tent, it's right on the edge of the, the glass. So if it's just a little bit blunt, you put it on that and she'll go razor sharp again. If it's really blunt, it won't work. It's just to touch it up. I just seen Maddie get super excited and run off and I was like, oh, what has he found? Never seen him so excited. We don't even have any camp chairs. <laughs> We're waiting till the Overland Expo, till Carl from EC Off Road brings us over some Explore Life camp chairs because we forgot to put them in the truck before we sent it over. So let me know in the comments how many followers are we going to lose if I get a Jeep? <laughs> <laughs> What's this one, Navs? Come on. Hey, Toyota. Toyota what? Uh, Toyota. Get there. Um, Toyota Patrol. It's like, it's like a 70 series but plus 10 more. 89 series. Well, no, that'd be 19 more. Have another go. 80 series. Hey! <laughs> Nav knows his Forbes. Yeah, yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, she's an 80 series. I know boats. Yeah, yep, yeah, you, you're on I mean, the... cars. Forbes. Forbes. Yeah, yeah, right. No, thanks for that. People are so friendly here.